Hi everyone and welcome to Sukuri Security's Guide to WPCLI. We're just going to get started by connecting to your website today. First thing you need to do is contact your host to find out your SSH server, your username, and your password. There should be knowledge base articles on this, but you may also want to call them. Make sure that you've enabled SSH on your server. Some hosts also need things like public keys to be set up, or they may have specific steps for different operating systems. So you may want to give them a call. Once you have your server, username, and password, for Mac and Linux users, we just need to open Terminal. It's pre-installed. And for Windows users, just download PuTTY. And when it opens, you enter your host name or server and click Open to be prompted for your username and password. In Terminal, just type SSH space your username, then the at symbol, followed by your server address. Once you type that in, you may be prompted for accepting your fingerprints. Make sure that you do check these against what your host has in their documentation, and then type yes when you know that it's the correct fingerprint. From there, you'll be prompted for your password. And there you go, you're in your website now. So we just need to make sure we're in the right location. So to do that, we type ls to list the contents. You can see I've got all my WordPress files here. It's great. Now, if you don't see that when you type ls, what you want to do is type cd to change directory and then dot dot to go up a folder. You may already be in your root folder, but this will just make sure that we're at the very top. So you can see I'm in my home folder, and from here I can type ls, and I see I've got a public folder. You may also see www.var, public HTML, and you can verify with your host where your files are. Then you can change directory by going cd into that folder, and you can type ls again to verify that you've got your WordPress files. From here, we need to copy the line to install WPCLI into the terminal window. This will work for PuTTY as well. And then you can see that it's installed successfully. And to verify that, all we need to do is type WPCLI version, and it should spit out a little version number for you. So there you go. Stay tuned for the next video in the series to learn how to backup and update WordPress with just a few words. Thanks for watching.